Hey friends, Alan Lee here with The Handyman Journey and today I wanna to talk about creating a brand for your business. This is one of the best things that you can do for your business uh, because a brand really helps people recognize your business and they are more likely to decide to work, for, work with your business if they ever need some work done in the future. Creating a brand is huge and in this video I want to talk about the three steps that you need to do to create and establish a brand for your business. Number one, you need to figure out what your brand stands for. You need to know it, uh, just like the back of your hand, you need to know what your brand stands for um, and then that will help uh, launch you into the rest of the things that you need to do to establish a brand. Um, so in order to know what your brand stands for, you need to create core values for your business. These are very, very important. Um, our particular business has core values such as honor, integrity, um, you know, professionalism. Uh, we do what needs to be done and we do it right. We are code followers. Um, we are honest about our abilities and our inabilities. Uh, these are core values that you need to establish in your business in order to launch yourself into creating a brand that works for you. In these core values, you need to write them down because if they are not tangible, then they won't happen. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, I have this idea of what I want my brand to be. But if you don't write it down on paper and actually live by it, believe me, it's not going to happen. I have a saying that if it's not on my calendar, it's not gonna happen. That is very true because at the end of the day, we are very, very busy individuals and we need to make sure that we write things down so that we actually do them. Writing out core values makes them tangible so that we know what we need to do and we know how to follow them. Core values are also very cool because they keep us accountable. If we do something that goes against our core values, we have our core values to fall back on and be like, wow, I violated this core value. What needs to change in me to get me back to that core value? Sometimes core values aren't necessarily things that um, we're good at. Maybe integrity is one of your core values and you, you really struggle with doing the right thing even when no one's watching. Well, by writing down that core value, you are going to strive to become a person with more integrity and that's what's important. So core values don't have to be everything that we encompass fully right now, but what we want to be, what we want our brand to be and how we can work towards that. And then, then after we've written that down, we can surround ourselves with people, situations, coaches that bring us closer to those core values that we wrote out. Um, so if it's, one, if it's one thing that you struggle with, again, keep it in front of your eyes daily. So if you struggle with integrity, keep that core value of integrity in front of your eyes daily, figure out how you can get closer to that. And then when you are creating your core values, you wanna focus on your strengths while improving your weaknesses. So a lot of times you are you know, strong in something and a lot of times you are weak in something. Use your strengths to bring your weaknesses up. Don't just forget about your weaknesses. Your weaknesses are there. They're things that we have to address, things that we have to live with. Ultimately, we have to live with ourselves. So we need to use our strengths to improve our weaknesses. Number two that you need to do to create a brand for your business is create systems and processes that bring life to your brand. So once you have those core values written, you need to describe and write out how your business is going to show those core values, right? So if you have a core value of integrity, how is your particular business going to show that core value of integrity? If your core value is professionalism, how are you gonna show that? One huge way to show that is maybe nice decaling on your trucks, clean trucks, clean uniforms, you don't smell like cigarette smoke, these are all examples of how your business can exemplify or show those core values. Another thing that you wanna do is as your business grows, write out uh, systems, procedures of how your employees will also hold those core values and how your employee will show those core values to the clients, how they will exemplify that. Because one of the biggest things or excuses that I hear from people about growing is how do I duplicate myself? I'm scared to hire an employee because they aren't me. They aren't going to be providing the same service that I'm going to provide. And that's totally true. You're never gonna be able to duplicate yourself 100% because you are who you are and each person is created in its own, right? Each person is created differently. We are all created in the image of God in a different manner, which is pretty awesome. So at the end of the day, 
uh, you need to make sure that you have SOPs or standard operating procedures of how your employees will show your core values of your brand to your clients. And another thing is how are you as a boss going to enforce those core values? What kind of um, procedures are you going to have to help bring an employee back to that core value if they've kind of slipped off a little bit? These are things that you want to think about. Um, and then you want to write it out. Like we've said many, many times in this video is write it out. If it's not documented, it's not going to happen. So think about every situation. Think about that employee who maybe does something that's not full of integrity. What are you going to do to help bring that employee back? Right? At what point is, is it too far gone? And at what point do you guys need to part ways? Right? These are things that you want to think about. What are some, what are some absolutely hard stops for your brand where if someone violates this in, in particular, then we can't continue to move forward. What are some what are some hard and fast rules of your business and your brand that you want to hold tight to? And then number three, I think this is very important when establishing a brand is reevaluating your processes on a regular basis. And don't shy away from the truth and take action to correct any character defects that you see in yourself or in your employees. Very, very important. Do not be codependent when it comes to this. When you are establishing a brand as a business and you are the person who has to uphold that brand, codependency is your enemy. When you, um, when you bow down to other people's wants and wishes and desires and they go against your brand, you are only hurting yourself. You're only hurting your brand. You're only hurting the future of your business and you need to stand up to that and hold fast to those core values that you have set at day one for your business. So, have procedures in place to constantly reevaluate your processes. You need to understand that we are all humans. We are all make we all make mistakes. And what was true, um, you know, one day may not be true the next. When you're talking about, um, you know, how you work in business, right? Things change. People change. Um, employees change. So you need to make sure that you have your eyes open. You're not codependent, and you can see things that need to be changed and actually take action to change those things when they need to be changed. Have weekly meetings with yourself and with your employees. Very important to stay engaged with your employees, with yourself about your core values and your brand that you're trying to establish. And if you, this, is, this really helps when you have a weekly meeting because it helps when, when maybe you have something, someone or maybe the culture as a whole is kind of drifting away from the core values. Well, those weekly meetings really help you to create a system where you can ground everyone back into those core values of your business. Um, that is a very, very important thing to do. And then, this is huge, get feedback from your clients on how your core values are being portrayed, right? Do the clients feel like we are being professional? Do they feel like we are being timely? Do they feel like we are loving? Do they feel like we have compassion, right? How do the clients feel? One huge way to gauge this is through reviews. What are people saying in your reviews? Oftentimes reviews are truthful. So if you're getting a bunch of bad reviews, that's telling you something about your core values and your mission statement. If you're getting a lot of reviews that actually have your core value lingo, like, man, these people were on time, they were professional, they got the job done right, then you know that you are acing your core value and you have, you have helped exemplify that into from the employee to the client itself. So that is huge. And you need to be willing to look at all of this with a champion mentality. You need to be the first one to take the blame. As the boss, as the owner, as the creator of your brand, you need to be the first one to take the blame of something that has gone wrong in your business and in your brand. Very, very, very important. You need to take the champion mentality. Oftentimes I have talked about the difference of champion mentality and victim mentality. As humans, we want to default to that victim mentality, but we need to choose that champion mentality um, every single time. Because at the end of the day, nothing changes unless something changes. So oftentimes we have things that need to change inside ourselves in order to make ourselves better, our brand better, our business better. And we need to be willing to take a cold, hard look at the reality. And the reality is that we may have something inside of us that needs to be changed. You cannot ask your employees to do anything that you are not willing to do. Now this helps establish a core value as well of honesty and integrity because I'm my employees know that I'm not going to ask them to do something that I would not do myself. This is a very important thing that you need to establish because if you're asking your employees to say 
go up on that really hot, really tall roof when you know you would not go up there. That's that's creating um, a dishonest core value, and you do not want that in your business. Um, you need to be ready to take the fall. Be the one, be the first one to change yourself. And again, this is that champion mentality that you need to have. If you have core values in your business, in your brand, that you as a person do not follow, there's no way that your employees are gonna follow them. So you need to be the example, you need to be the leader, the one to take charge, and actually exemplify all of these core values. If one of your core values is professionalism, and in your uniform code you have shirts need to be tucked in, your shirt needs to be tucked in 24 seven. You need to not let that thing out while you're on the, on the clock, uh, or else your employees are not gonna have it tucked in. You need to lead by example. This was huge, relevant to me when I first started out my business, because if you guys watch my videos, I, I've had videos all the way dating back to 2017. And when I first started this channel, I didn't shave, I didn't do my hair. Um, I was a mess, right? I was a wreck. And it wasn't until I kind of came, came to this knowledge of like, wow, I need to, you know, build a brand. I need to build, like, who am I as a person? Am I someone who doesn't shave? Am I someone who doesn't do my hair? Like this, it, it's, it may seem very petty, but it's actually very important when you're establishing your brand. So guys, I hope you learned something. I would love for you guys to take a moment and drop a comment in the comment section below of, of the number one thing that you took away from this video. I would absolutely love to hear it and how you guys are growing from this channel. Like this video and subscribe to this channel and we will catch you guys on the next video.